in the name of allah the most merciful and the most beneficent may allah peace and blessings of subhanahu wa taala be on all of us assalamu alaikum students in your last class you learned the topic digestive system from chapter number 1 sustenance of the individual nutrition and respiration now today we will discuss the new topic the topic is respiration in living organism so first we must know about the respiration it is the process of taking in oxygen which is used to release energy by oxidation of food and eliminating the carbon dioxide and water now what is oxidation the oxidation is the during the process of respiration the digested food reacts chemically with oxygen in the body cell to release energy the reaction with oxygen is known as oxidation now the two main processes of respiration are internal respiration or breathing and external respiration or the cellular respiration one by one i will discuss here the external respiration external respiration is between environment and lungs or you can say this is the part of respiration where air moves from outside the body into the alveoli what is external respiration this is the part of respiration where air moves from outside the body into the alveoli or the external respiration is between environment and lungs now the next is internal respiration internal respiration is between blood and cell or you can say it is the chemical process of using oxygen to break down food to release energy now what is internal respiration internal respiration is between blood and cell have you got it now i will explain you the respiration in plant plants are living beings they also respire by taking in oxygen and giving out the carbon dioxide the plants don't have any organs for breathing the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide takes place diffusion through a small spore called stomata now see the diagram there is mention the two processes the first one is photosynthesis the second is respiration during the day time the plant absorb carbon dioxide and expels the oxygen this happens during photosynthesis and during night time the plant absorb oxygen and expels carbon dioxide this process is called the respiration have you got it now through the diagram i will explain you the respiration in plant the plant take oxygen in the presence of the glucose the carbon dioxide water and the energy is released out now see the diagram there is mentioned the two processes photosynthesis and the respiration or you can understand by the help of equation now for the photosynthesis when carbon dioxide react with water in the presence of the sunlight and the chlorophyll glucose and the oxygen is released out and for the cellular respiration when glucose and the oxygens are combined together or react to each other the carbon dioxide water and energy is released out 
हैव यू गोट माई पॉइंट बेटा नाउ द नेक्स्ट इज द रेस्परेशन इन ह्यूमन्स रेस्परेशन इज द एक्सचेंज ऑफ गैसेज बिटवीन एन ऑर्गेनिज्म एंड इट्स इन्वायरमेंट In humans the respiratory and the circulatory system cooperate in the transport of gases to the cells Now see the diagram there is mentioned the organs of the respiratory system The respiration in humans takes place in the lungs The organs of the respiratory system are nostril it traps dust particles germs and warm up the air we breathe after passing through the nasal passage the air enters a short tube called pharynx now the next is windpipe from pharynx air goes into the trachea or the windpipe It is an elastic tube which extends down the length of the neck and the bronchi the trachea divides into two branches called bronchi the bronchi lead to a lung each where they divide into several small branches called bronchioles and the lungs the lungs are sponge like sac protected by flexible rib cage diaphragm is present at the bottom of lungs which separates respiratory system and digestive system now the alveoli lungs have large surface made up of tiny air sacs called alveoli it is surrounded by blood vessels or the tiny capillaries where exchange of gases takes place through diffusion and between alveoli and blood vessels now the next is exchange of gases in alveoli now i explain to you the alveoli any of many tiny air sacs of the lungs which allow for rapid gaseous exchange Now see the diagram. It shows the exchange of gases in alveoli. Each alveolus is surrounded by a network of thin blood vessels. Oxygen passes through the wall of the alveoli into the blood vessels. Now see the diagram. The blood then carries the oxygen to the body cell. meanwhile the carbon dioxide present in the blood as a waste product of respiration passes out of the blood vessels and into the alveoli have you got my point now the next is cellular respiration the process in which biomolecules like sugar are converted into an energy form that living things can use atp now what is cellular respiration the process in which biomolecules like sugar are converted into an energy form that living things can use atp now what is atp a form of stored energy or adenosine triphosphate triphosphate means three phosphates see the diagram there is mentioned the three phosphate or the triphosphate each phosphate is connected by a chemical bond and each chemical bond stores energy if a bond is broken energy is released and see the equation there is mentioned the cellular respiration when the glucose react with oxygen the carbon dioxide water and the energy is released out have you got my point now this is all today 
I explained to you the respiration. It is the process of release of energy from digested food using oxygen. It consists of breathing and cellular respiration. In humans, the main organs of respiration are nostril, nasal cavity, trachea, bronchi, and lungs. Exchange of gas is takes place in the alveoli which are surrounded by blood vessels. And the breathing or external respiration, it is the physical process of taking in oxygen and giving out carbon dioxide. Internal or cellular respiration, it is the chemical process of using oxygen to break down food to release energy. Now this is all about the respiration. Now you have to do home task. There are two long questions from the book. Question number 16. Explain with the help of diagram the structure of human lungs and exchange of gases in the lungs. Question number 17. Briefly describe the process of cellular respiration. Now the diagram, the figure 1.21 on page number 13. Now you have to draw the diagram with question number 16 as it is related to question number 16. Now you have to answer it in your copy. You can find the answer of these questions from your book or you can write the answer of the questions through my lecture. I hope that you must have understood the lesson as well as home tasks. Take care beta. Allah Hafiz.